everyone, Jason here from uh, Robot Lawn Mowers Australia. Uh, just doing a bit of a product review on our E1800T model here from X-Gain. Um, the laid out in front of me is everything you get in the box. We get the charging station which is IP54 rated, um, fully weatherproof. No requirement to have it under a cover if you don't wish to. Uh, you get one spare set of spare blades with the system. Uh, the charging pins which just screw into the front of the charging station here that makes makes contact with the mower through this little front port over here. Uh, there's some above some cable connectors, four pins for lock for pinning down the uh, charge station, 100 meters of perimeter wire, 100 ground pegs, uh, the charging lead and transformer for the charging station. It's about eight meters long. Uh, the user manual and the mower itself. A bit of a quick summary of the specs of this unit. Um, it's actually quite similar to the E1600 behind me here. It's just a smaller version of the same thing. Um, it is the latest model that uh, x have actually brought out um, and it's very suited to, uh, to our Australian conditions and lawn sizes and just the general environment that it has to operate in, as well as it's actually quite small and compact. So the specifications, uh, the unit weighs about 16 kilos. Uh, the noise level is under 60 dB, so it's very quiet, same as the, uh, the E1600. Um, the, the perimeter cable maximum length is 600 meters, again the same. Um, it comes with 100 meters, which is more than enough to do most, most Australian yards. Uh, the maximum slope it can handle is 30 degrees, the same as all the other models from X-Gain. Um, again, on the perimeter wire, um, it's best to keep that slope down to about 15 degrees, as the units can have trouble turning around if they're, if they're at the bottom of a slope trying to turn around on the perimeter wire. Cutting specifications of this unit, um, it is very similar again to the E1600. Um, it's 35 meters, per, 35 meters per minute in travel, uh, 3000 RPM in speed. Um, the cutting height on this one is the one particular difference. Um, it's still two and a half centimeters to five and a half centimeters, but it's, it's, it's electronically driven, so it's programmable on what height it is. There's no manual adjustment. You set it through the keypad or through your phone. Um, the cutting width is different. It's only 21 centimeters uh, versus the 28 centimeters on the, the 1600. Battery life. Uh, the battery inside this is 6.6 .6 amp hour again. Uh, the same battery again. Um, it gets almost four hours usage out of this in this mower. Um, it still takes two and a half hours to charge. Uh, and the capacity of this mower is about 700 square meters per charge um, and uh, it's about 1800 square meters all up uh, once it heads out a few times. Um, the theory behind these again is that uh, they go out multiple times so you can program them to go out multiple times uh, to make sure the lawn is mowed all the time. Um, the theory is for them is that they only cut a small amount of grass uh, a couple of millimeters at a time they're more than capable of cutting longer grass, um, but they basically maintain the grass and keep it down to the uh, desired length that you require. Uh, and all the clippings just mulch back into the, into the grass, which promotes good growth and new growth in your grass. So generally, they're pretty good for your lawn. Installation of these units, uh, same as most robotic lawnmowers, they require the perimeter wire. Once again, you get 100 meters with, with the unit. Um, it needs to be laid around the perimeter of where you want to keep the mower maintained. Um, the wire can be put above ground if you wish. You can just mow the grass nice and short and then peg it down with the, with the ground pegs. Um, or you may choose to dig a small trench, uh, which this can be buried up to five centimeters in the ground. I find that a, uh, a petrol edging tool is a good, good device to, uh, to cut a two centimetre deep uh, trench, which is only half a centimetre wide, um, without destroying your grass too much, uh, and then lay it inside that little trench. Uh, works quite well. The features of this unit, um, it is basically identical to the E1600. The only difference is that it has electronic height adjustment. Um, it's bump sensors, lift sensors, tilt sensors, um, everything, you know, you, it's got pressure sensors again so you can't ride it. Um, it's got the emergency stop on the top as a button. Um, the rain sensor on the back here, so if it does go out and it starts raining, um, it will return home and then uh, and mow again later on once the rain stops. Um, it's got the perimeter cut feature, which the E1600 has as well. Um, perimeter cut feature just sends the mower out and it does a, does a lap of the perimeter first. 
um, which just helps you get the, uh, the, the cut the edge get the cut closer to the edge of your lawn to uh, minimize the amount of times you have to use a whipper snipper. Um, LCD display fully programmable the same as E1600 uh, it, so you can mow you can set it to mow any day of the week any time of the week for any duration um, six zones again so it will it will mow up to six zones independently uh, again you can set that the timing to mow those zones at different times of the week. Um, Wi-Fi enabled, so you communicate to the phone either through the LCD display, to, to the mower, sorry, through the LCD display, or through your iOS or Android device. Um, but both work quite well. Uh, the unit sends out a Wi-Fi signal which you log into and, uh, and communicate that way, and it's basically fully programmable through your phone. Password protected, um, so you can set a password in there to stop anyone else from being able to use the mower. Um, and it also has the range option feature that allows you to fine tune how far the mower goes across the perimeter wire before it turns around and goes back, which once again just allows you to try and cut as close to the edges as possible. So that's about it for this model. Um, I feel this is the model that's probably most suited to the Australian lawns and conditions. Um, it's a mid-range priced model. Um, it's got great capabilities, it's small, it's compact. I've had one of these on my backyard now for over a year. Um, I've never had to touch it. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's about it guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please check out other videos and all the information we've got on our website at www.robotlawnmowers.com.au and if you've got any questions or queries please send us an email, give us a call. We're more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.